trees in November this late, and you know what? People get excited. A live look outside right now. Skyline looks just beautiful, and uh, it's going to be a pretty decent week. Yes, if it could just continue through our turkey day season. Uh, yeah, this is a season to be excited all the way to New Year's Day, right? Just, yeah. Well, not that it'll be in the 50s. <laughs> just, just That'd play be great it. if it was, though. Yeah, yes, it would. I'm just going to stay excited. Uh, what about weather watchers? They're kind of excited tonight because those warm temperatures are still with us well after this afternoon's high. Uh, so 40-degree uh, weather everywhere, and how does it feel out there? Let's see if there are any problems along with it. Terry has got the 45 in Roselle and says uh, gusty and howling winds are out tonight. Probably felt the same, didn't you? We had winds anywhere from 20 to 30 miles an hour. And what's going on in Indiana? There's Raymond. Raymond is in Valparaiso. Highest wind gust was 21 earlier this evening. So everybody's got a touch of that wind that's moving through town. What are those winds going to bring? They're going to bring some freezing temperatures eventually. And I think you're going to feel the difference most notably tomorrow. Look at that. In the afternoon, it just swells up with cold air around here, and the freezing temperatures are here by uh, after dark or dinner time. We go from the 40s in the morning uh, down to the 30s by 5 o'clock in the afternoon, barely at the freezing mark. In the 20s tomorrow night, wind chill in the teens, so it's going to be a cold period of time. Wednesday will be the coldest day of this holiday week, although it will be dry. Temperatures in the 30s, and for Thanksgiving Day, that's another day that's going to be dry, but the temperatures boosted just a little bit. Still below normal, but I think Thanksgiving Day, 42 degrees in the afternoon with light winds and mostly sunny. It'll feel very nice out. Big picture, we don't have any major storms that are roaming the country. We're only looking at some rain up in the Pacific Northwest and some rain down in South Florida this week. And aside from that, I think travel conditions will be pretty swell across the board. So tonight, 40 degrees at its uh, coldest. We're almost there now. It's still much nicer than you'd expect for this time of year. Up and down in sun and clouds this week. The, one of the best of the bunch is Thanksgiving Day. Warmest weather the day after Thanksgiving. 52 degrees before it turns chilly again. Yeah, we can get out there and Jog off all that food we eat. Oh, or Thursday. shop off. Black well, Friday. That that's is a right. good point. Black right. Friday. That's pretty sweet. Shopping yeah. is cardio. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> They'll burn up.